Hey, this is Matthew Butler. You are currently watching the three little clips I made of the pie chart, and you're able to basically do whatever you want with this. Very customizable, easy to set up. So when you open it up, you'll have this chart here, the pie chart, and it'll be 100% already. So click on the pie chart, and in your settings, you can choose first off the number of segments you need to have. So you can have any number between 2 or 15. So for this example, I'll just make it 3. And let's bump up the value of these three, value 1, 2, and 3. Let's make it uh, 10, 40, and 50. Back at 100%. And basically all these little value areas correspond to the number of segments you need for your graph. After that you can have a reflection on, you can offset the color, you can choose your own color, you can have it on a gradient or be very specific on where the colors lie. You can change where how large the pie graph is, you can change the corner roundness, how round it is, the height, if you want it really tall, you can rotate it around, offset the height, if you want this to animate into place, offset the scale, have a floor enabled like I do in the previews that you saw a little bit ago, and enable and disable the ambient occlusion. Also this 100% that is a spline, so it will not show up in the rendered. It's just there so you know the percent currently what it adds up to. And that's basically what the pie chart is. And if you want to use the camera that I'm providing, I'll go into more detail for this camera inside the actual tutorial provided with this pie chart. So if you're interested, I hope this gave you a great overview of what this software can do. There's also an After Effects file included with this, but it is not necessary to use. 